continuing where we left off last time. Um, although this time, I think perhaps I'll actually try um, playing my old intro. I don't currently have a real intro, but since we're just kind of messing around and testing out the whole concept of video making, um, I'll play the one I used when I first started this channel and made really bad videos. Not to say that this video is particularly amazing, but we'll see how it goes. Tell me what you think of the intro in the comments, if you thought anything of it at all. Stick the wall. Okay, well I guess I'm not sticking to the wall. Oh. It appears to me as though um there is no getting past this thing without waking it up. Proximity. Stupid, stupid. It's gonna wake up on my way back, too, isn't it? Oh, the telescope goes here. Huh. Uh-oh. I guess it'll be a nice shortcut. I'll make sure that uh, I'll make sure that the telescope isn't my last one because that is very convenient. Now I still can't find the courtyard. You know what? The courtyard obviously won't be here. This place is closed. And presumably, lots of people went and used the courtyard. So I'm not going to search here. This is body processing or something, or an experiment. It's probably the experiment room. Oh, yes. This is the experimental side. I don't remember where that there is. Okay. Now let's chance it. I'm in a rush. Oh, okay. There's two of them in there. Theater. I guess 
myself start beating the signs. Exercise yard. Dang it. Okay. One step closer. Is this the exercise yard? Okay, we're gonna check out the Hall of Records. Okay, that's probably somebody's thing. It worked! You're in the past now. This is what everything looks like, the way the cradle remembers it. It's like a stitch in time. You can't die here because you're inside a patient. But if the staff catch you, they'll take away your toy, and you'll have to find another one. But I didn't want them to all speak on top of each other like that. <sighs> now will you get my diary? In the real world, it's all torn apart, and we never find all the pages. But in the past, it's just the way I left it, up in the nursery tower. Please find it, and burn it in the morgue. So I'm like here, the nursery tower is up, or wait, I'm here somewhere, the nursery tower is past the Hall of Records to the east. I don't remember this. there's anything useful up there in the present. So 
so the cradle doesn't remember the look of the staff, I guess. Doesn't just mean something yeah, who saw something sparkle behind him, right? Oh, maybe it was just him. Oh, there's his body. <laughs> That's funny. I'm here. I want to go up to the nursery, so I have to go south. Oh, it's all caved in, right. Don't know how loud this is going to be. So this was caved in. We couldn't go here before. It's kind of cool. When they started letting the patients stay here, there wasn't enough room for everybody. All of us children had to move here into the nursery tower where the babies used to be. Incident report. Type of incident, death. Patient staff members involved, Laurel, Laurel S. Orphan. Oh, look at that. Witnesses, informants, H. Drept. Orphan description of the incident. Two orphans were playing in the attic of the asylum area when one of the patients must have killed the girl. Large amount of blood marks the scene of the incident, but no body has been found. The search is underway. The girl's playmate, Drept, insists the killer was some sort of hag, a gray old lady, not a patient. However, since he is just a child, and without other witnesses or evidence to back up the story, we can only conclude that one of the patients killed the girl and then hid the body. No orphans near the white ward patients rule. We are lucky that the girl has no family to make a fuss. <laughs> I was playing hide and seek with my friend Drapt, but he never found me. Instead, a gray lady found me. I tried to run, but the door was locked, and I couldn't get it open. Oh shit. 